Good morning everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. I'm running extremely late this morning, so I'm gonna keep it very short and sweet. I'm just getting ready to leave for Windsor. I'm going to see my friend Chanel at her salon, babbling on. I have an appointment at 10 a.m. and I'm so late. I wanted to actually leave at quarter past eight. And my sat nav says it should take an hour and 10 minutes, but with rush hour traffic, I don't trust it. And so I'm cutting it very fine because I literally have five minutes leeway. I better go jump in the car. I will see you when I'm there. Man, I'm about 10 minutes late and I absolutely hate being Late, but um, I kind of took a wrong turn on the motorway. I have to go all the way back around. I'm so sleepy. It was far too early for this, but now I need to try and find my way to the salon. <laughs> and Chanel has warned me that it's quite complicated, which is just great. <laughs> is the beautiful owner of this salon and just check out my nails. I don't think I showed you properly. I'll have to like, maybe you can take some photos of me. Yeah, and put them on it's blogger nails. So I've got yeah. blogger nails. They're so cool. I've and now she has got blogger nails. I know, I've always wanted glitter, but I feel like this is the perfect time of year for it. Cause you know, it's festive without it's being festive. red and like green. It's really cool, but yeah. And it's still nude though. It's still nude, so it's not that in your face. Yeah, it's still yeah. like sticking to me, cause yeah. I always sort of get like different and it's shades subtle of mushroom. Glamour. I just call it soft glamour. Yeah, exactly. Me too. But yeah, thank you so much for my nails. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it was so lovely to see you again as well. Like, I think it was February that I last saw you. Yeah, London Fashion Week. Yeah, it's insane. But I think I'm going to head home in a bit and um, spend a bit of time catching up with you. But she's so busy today. I think I picked like a really bad time to come in. Yeah, it's been crazy. constant, like people coming in, the phone phones. calls. <laughs> They're insanely busy. I haven't even checked my mails yet, like my messages. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. But it's been absolutely oh, crazy. Really but thank you for like fitting me in the week before Christmas as well. Really? Like, thank you for coming. I appreciate it so much. I'll definitely I love be back. this girl. I'm and her vlog's just the best. Oh, stop. <laughs> I love them. She's so entertaining. I'll leave um, Chanel's details down below in the description box. So make sure you go and follow her too. Check out all her makeup looks that she does. You're going to be doing more videos as well. More videos from really January. Great. Yeah, so and definitely if you're in Maidenhead, come and check out the salon because they do some incredible nails. I'm just obsessed. I can't stop looking at them. It's like when you get your hair cut, you just can't you stop can't. touching it. You know, when you're driving, you're going to keep looking at them whilst you're driving. I know, so. I will. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to make a move in a bit and I'll catch up with you guys when I get home, I think. Oh my god, can we just ignore the state of my face? Like, I know my makeup has kind of smudged under this eye, but it was really sore when I woke up this morning. Anyway. Um, I need to drive because, oh, what time is it? Because it is half past two, I went for a walk around Maidenhead um, just to try and find a, there's a man watching me vlog, this is very awkward. I went for a walk around Maidenhead. <laughs> this man is literally watching me vlog and he can see my flip out screen. He's like, what is he doing? Anyway, I went for a walk around Maidenhead to look for a coffee because I haven't eaten all day, basically, and I'm dying for a coffee. And I couldn't have one in the salon because obviously I only have oat milk. So I had to go to Cafe Nero and because I haven't eaten, I picked up this banana and walnut loaf, but I think I'm just gonna eat it while I drive because it's getting really late and I just need to leave and go home because I've got to edit a video. I think my friend's coming around later and I've just got so much to do. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you when I get home. Okay, I'm just saying, 
this cake is horrible it's banana and walnut from cafe nero don't buy it also i'm not driving like i'm still sat in the car i'm about to leave now and it is oh my god 20 to 3. do you ever have one of those days where you're so tired that you literally just want to like sleep or cry or just Oh, I don't know. Oh, God, I need to drop my charger. Um, I got in from, I keep saying Windsor, I was in Maidenhead. I got in from Maidenhead at bang on four o'clock, imported my footage, started editing yesterday's vlog, and it is now two minutes past five, and I'm done editing. And I had a slice of toast. So I've done very well today, I'm very impressed. I'm currently exporting the video so that I can upload it and like do all that jazz. And I've got about 45 minutes basically to get this video uploaded create the thumbnail schedule it do all that jazz and get ready because my friend Hetz is coming around in about 45 minutes or so we're not sure what we're doing but we've been like planning to meet up for over a week now and i think this is the third time i was supposed to see him last night and i cancelled on him i think that was the third time i've cancelled on him in the past week he cancelled on me once too normally i never cancel but i've just been so busy and so tired and i'm just like i need to see you before christmas so i think we're gonna go out for either dinner or maybe a drink or something but i'm literally dead on my feet i've just feel like i've had the longest day ever so i'm gonna go and just chill a little bit while i wait for this video to like upload and do all that jazz right so my video is all good to go i've just kind of fixed my face a little bit added a bit of concealer my eyes both feel so sensitive today i think it's really tired oh my phone's going off i have whatsapp on my laptop so it always like beeps so i know that i have a notification i think my friend hetz will be here any minute but i've just added some glitter to my eyelids just to like make me look a bit more festive and um, this is the pixie fairy lights in passion light i think it's the darkest shade the bronze one but i can't stop looking at my nails like i absolutely love them i didn't think i would like them as much to be honest because you guys know that i don't really like nail art but these are so blingy and they're perfect for this time of year one thing that i was gonna say was the nail salon that i usually go to is like one of your like standard like vietnamese nail shops that you go to like the sort of place where you go to for the price and not the service Service and they are terrible at doing nail art when I show them photos of stuff I like in the past they've just completely butchered it they'll never give me a refund and I absolutely hate asking them for stuff that isn't just like a normal color and today when I was at babbling on I think the lady that did my nails was called Taz I showed her a couple of photos of nails that I liked very similar to this oh my phone's ringing and she basically did her own take on it and I was very very impressed with that oh yeah I think Hess is here I'm back Ah, okay perfect he's about 15 minutes away so what I was saying was I'm really impressed with the way that she just looked at these two photos she had a really good idea of what I wanted and I just said to her do you know what go for it and she just did her own take on it and I was really impressed the other thing that I was really impressed with at babbling on was when I normally get my infills done at my regular salon maybe I just go to like crappy places I mean I, I know I go to crappy places because they're cheap and they're local but uh, <laughs> but they never like sort my cuticles out they never like push my cuticles back or give me like a mini manicure with the infills and she did that today so I was very impressed because I was watching her and I was like oh this is like unusual because normally they'll just take off your polish and like file it down and stuff and then just literally fill in the gap they won't take that extra step and I really appreciated that so I was very impressed indeed and I honestly just wish I lived closer to there because that salon was so busy but it had such a great vibe I don't know how long you guys have been following me for but I used to have like a salon like years ago well I had two not at the same time but one I was like renting the whole top floor of a hairdresser's and just being in that salon for about five hours today just brought back so many memories like it's such a fun environment to work in like the banter and like when you have nice clients and nice staff and it's just a really chilled out environment and I was just thinking oh my god like I totally miss this because it's been about oh like seven or eight years since I had a salon and I had it for quite a long period of time and obviously because it was just myself that was doing the beauty I had the whole of the top floor but then there were like loads of hairdressers downstairs so we used to hang out together and like go for lunches go for drinks after work and just have banter like just in between clients and stuff like that and I just remember like the busy Saturdays like and like obviously this is like a week before Christmas so babbling on was so busy honestly the phone would ring somebody would walk in and somebody else would turn up and there was just this constant flow of like clients phoning and coming in trying to get last minute appointments trying to squeeze in here there and everywhere and I was like 
oh my god this just reminds me of like busy saturdays and like where you're just working so hard you're so exhausted you don't have time for lunch you don't even have time to go and pee to be honest because your clients are back to back but it's just so much fun and on the drive home i was just thinking oh i totally miss that but yeah i had a really good day with chanel i'm now going to try and keep myself awake because hetz will be here in 10 minutes and no doubt he probably won't want to be on camera but we're going to decide if we're going to go out for dinner or get a takeaway because both of us are just feeling a bit meh at the moment so Hertz and I say hi hello <laughs> we've we decided that we couldn't decide where to eat so we've been driving basically around for about half an hour and we're both being really fussy because I don't want Indian or Italian and you don't want burgers I don't really want burgers either we just don't know what we want to eat like, I hate when this happens and now we're venturing out even further than planned take me for food <laughs> Learn in school. What do elves learn in school? The alphabet. The alphabet. <laughs> ah, that's clever. Not really his name. Trying duck? Huh? Is it your first time trying duck? No. Oh, you just don't like this. Mm. We well, do put, do you put chili sauce instead of poison sauce? But I don't know. Who puts that? That's what it's meant to have. You meant to put the duck, these, and then that. I'm in here. It's Chinese food though. Sweet and sour. What your fortune cookie say? Oh, <laughs> put it back in his pocket already. Well, in case you're wondering, mine said. Oh, all right, all right. Hold on, it's not focusing. You'll be called to fulfil a position of high honour. Deep. <laughs> mine. It's lame. It is pretty lame, actually. This is a good time to finish up old tasks. How was dinner, Hertz? Okay, shall I spark up a cigarette? Basically, I didn't think dinner was all that. I don't think I've come back to this place. We went to somewhere no. called Yi... What's it called? Yi Ya. Yi Yan. Yi Ban. Yi Ban in East Coast. Um, we went for the buffet, but I think it was really bad for vegetarians because they literally had like... Oh, oh, oh. It's like you sink in it. And um, they literally had three different options, which is just vegetables. They didn't even have bean curd on like their main menu and they do like um, duck pancakes they didn't have any veggie options even on their a la carte menu so I don't think it was all that but overpriced for what it was this one <laughs> what do you think would you go back nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no but now he is dropping me home my chauffeur taxi driver you are though you love driving and I sometimes can't be asked anyway I'm gonna end this You're vlog here <laughs> yeah, I know. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm literally going home and just going to bed. So I will see you tomorrow for day 20. Bye. Say bye on my vlog. Whatever there, Chi. <laughs> ciao, ciao. ciao. <laughs>